Meanwhile, the Vice President Kamala Harris, she hopes to strengthen a political weak spot. She will head to the border today in Arizona, southeastern corner, Cho uh, Cochise County. Uh, that's the town of Douglas. The first time in more than three years and only five weeks until Election Day. Bill Malusian's already there. He's live in Douglas to bring us a preview of what's happening later this evening. Hello, Bill. And Bill, good morning to you. This is going to be Vice President Kamala Harris's first visit to the southern border since June of 2021. That's when she visited El Paso, Texas, more than three years ago. Well, now she's coming here to the border in the battleground state of Arizona. And take a look at this. Brand new Fox News polling shows Donald Trump has a slim lead here in Arizona. In a poll of likely Arizona voters in a head-to-head -head matchup, Trump leads Harris by three points, 51 to 48 percent. However, However, that is within the margin of error. Fox News polling also shows registered Arizona voters trust Trump to do a better job on immigration than Harris by a large margin of 15 points as the border continues to be a big vulnerability for Kamala Harris. But it's a topic she feels she can potentially fit, flip back on Trump. Take a listen. Donald Trump got word of the bill realized it was going to fix a problem he wanted to run on and told him to kill the bill, don't put it up for a vote. He killed a bill that would have actually been a solution because he wants to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. You will hear Kamala claim that the reason the border is not secure is that Congress has refused to pass her atrocious border bill. It's the worst bill you've ever seen. It would allow people to come in here at levels that would be incredible and would allow them to get citizenship. But it was not a border bill. It was an amnesty bill. And Harris's visit today will be here in Border Patrol's Tucson, Arizona sector. That is the sector that has seen the most illegal crossings anywhere on the southern border so far this fiscal year. It's also a place where our Fox cameras have repeatedly captured scenes like this, border wall breaches and mass illegal crossings over and over. Well, the Border Patrol Union says they want to know why it took Harris so long, more than three years, to finally visit, telling Fox in a statement in part, quote, after years of not just ignoring the problem, but helping create it. Vice President Kamala Harris is finally headed down to the border. This is nothing more than for her to check the box. But what it is in reality is a slap in the face towards the men and women that put their lives on the line every day. And also a slap in the face to the American public. Where has she been? And back out here live, that is a question the local sheriff out here is wondering as well. Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniels and his deputies have been on the front line of this border crisis for years now. He tells us he personally invited Kamala Harris to come down here, putting that invitation to her through Democrat Arizona Senator Mark Kelly. And the sheriff tells us while he's glad she's finally taking him up on the offer and coming down here, he's frustrated. He's also wondering why it took so long to happen. Harris is expected to arrive here later this afternoon. She mm -hmm. will deliver remarks later this afternoon. We'll be here for all of it, guys. We'll send it back to you. And we'll see whether or not she takes questions, too. And I don't know what the speech that she's going to lay out, but we'll see when that develops. Is there a reason why she would pick that corner of Arizona in Douglas? I asked the sheriff, and it's apparently because he personally invited her here. Uh, he was in touch with Democrat Senator Mark Kelly. Senator Ke Kelly apparently believed that she needed to make a border trip. So uh, when Sheriff mm -hmm. Daniels put that invitation to her campaign through Senator Kelly, she decided to take him up on it. She's been big time underwater on immigration and border security, and she potentially sees this as an opportunity to maybe chip into some of that polling, expect her to attack Donald Trump today uh, for that bipartisan border deal being killed right. uh, before it ever got off the ground. And at one point, she called that wall behind you a vanity project. We'll see what she calls it today. Bill, thank you. Bill Malusian, throughout the yep. day, live in Douglas, Arizona. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.